Greetings, this is Gintian, and today we are playing on the Demiurge server on Minecraft 1.18.2. This is episode 9, and I have been doing some work off camera, like building this tunnel, which goes all the way out the north side of the mountain. Turns out this is quite a ways, and it actually opens up into the forest as you can see here. Now let's turn around and walk back. My next project is a map room. I want to map out with Minecraft maps. I don't plan to use a wall. I'm actually going to set the maps on the ground or floor and that allows me more room than the wall. Here we are mining the room out. You may think this is large enough already, but I really want a large room to build a really large map going both north and south. And this room will allow for that. And you can easily walk around and see the map in all of its locations. And we're back and I need to go start putting maps down. Now when I picked up all the maps, I carefully placed them in the yellow shulker box. And I'm just gonna bring this to the middle of the room approximately and figure out where I wanna put this. Maybe up here on top. And we can start getting these maps out. No, you know what? I need to put down the frames first. But let's go ahead and do all that. Be right back. And we're back and I've placed the maps down and this you can see how far it goes. Now I need to find and make a lot of picture frames and add the rest on here. So it's off to work. <sighs> what we have here is an unfortunate turn of events. I was AFK, and one of these super rare guys decided to show up and ruin my day. I'm not even aware that this is going on because I'm AFK and not paying attention to the screen. And so he's going to sit here and pound on me until eventually whatever I have, levels I have, and all of that fun stuff go away. Okay, it's on. I'm not sure where the zombie is at this point. I'm just gathering up my stuff and I've got an axe in hand so I at least came that prepared get my armor back on looks like my leggings are on the baby zombie so I'm making sure nothing fell into any of the other places like the hoppers or the, I would put them in the chest and that didn't go well at all. Not at all. So I'm back. And he now has my boots as well. He's upgraded his weapon from my pick to my axe. Which was pretty well enchanted. And so that does a lot of damage, which is not good. I am down to my helmet and my breastplate. But I still have my sword. So I should be able to do better than I am. At least he's not on the chicken anymore. Although that doesn't make any difference because he's still very fast. And here he comes, and there I go. Rapid series of deaths. 
Wrong place, wrong time. I couldn't get past him. This time I managed to break free and run for it. I'm tr I'm carrying my bow here and I didn't have any arrows. So I couldn't start shooting him like I really wanted to. When I stopped and turned around, I actually attempted to shoot him with arrows, but there's no arrows. So I'm looking for a more favor favorable place to fight and didn't really find one. So now each time I come back, my first goal is to pick up all of the items that I have dropped. And that means running around in circles while I gather them up. And then hopefully switch to a weapon, which is harder than you think when you're being chased. Because with that axe, one or two hits and I'm gone especially without armor. So he lost interest in me for a minute. Come over and stare at the villager. So the helmet is my last piece of armor. And I'm gathering up my stuff and there we go. Dropped it all again. So the only thing left on the ground is my... He switched to my sword, so he's upgraded his weapon again. The only thing left on the ground is my helmet. So this seems to be getting worse and worse, but I do hit him occasionally. Which is only doing a small amount of damage. Mostly, I'm taking damage. I thought this would be... I'm not sure what I thought, but... Not a good place to fight in the hallway. But I thought, well, I can gather up my stuff real easy now. This is just a matter of running down the hallway. Let's see if I can find a place. Yeah, I, fa I turned to face him again. And now he has my helmet. He runs off in a different direction. And here I come. I have no idea where he is at this point. I just want to gather up my stuff. And see if I can go about getting a weapon. It does a decent amount of damage. Since he's no longer carrying it, I actually do have my axe. So, as I finish to search the room for my stuff, I'm going to switch over to my axe, or at least that's the intention. Still looking. And there he is. And there he goes. And I'm back. And that took a long time. So, a real long time. With that excitement out of the way, I want to move on to a next project. Now, I haven't finished the map room, but I got that's going to take a while to go get a lot of maps. But what I want to do here is when I planted the mushrooms that turned into the nether trees which I really need to look up the name they grew very tall and that caused me problems because it would grow into the area above the roof I didn't know that it was doing that it just ended at the roof but it messed up my cactus farm and showed up in weird places because depending on where you are in this room it's a different place next to the cactus farm and in the cactus farm so what i want to do is i had this idea i have this very large room which would allow me to grow trees very very tall and so let's 
I want to move this floor. So I've got my pickaxe with silk touch. Move the floor. Set it up at the other location in the main hall. And I can then plant some really big nice trees and let them grow to full size. So I'm going to do that and I will be back in a moment. I gathered up the crimson mycelium and I'm taking it over to the main base. And But first I need to go put the map that I have. I did get one map created and it goes there. Then I really want to start laying this crimson mycelium down and we'll go ahead and spread this out. We are going to add some shroom lighting like mushroom. Uh, that's the lights that form in these giant mushrooms. But we're going to do that. I guess they're mushrooms, not trees. I, I'm not sure. Either way, I'm going to do that. And I'm going to call this video finished. So thank you for watching. And goodbye.